Score this part for an oboe and play it against your horn. Well, how about it? Lighten up the melody and give it a nice effect. Hey, now what do you think? It's good, man. Just good, huh? That's better than bad. 
But you don't think it's good enough to show, huh? I didn't say that. Well, you said the melody was heavy. I didn't say that either. Oh, Eddie, I heard what you said. You said you had to score it for an oboe because the melody was too heavy. Man, we've been at this too long. We both need some shut eye. If you don't like it, why don't you say so? I said I like yeah, it. Yeah, I heard the way you said it. What do you want me to say? It's great? All right. You're Gershwin. You're Ravel and Debussy. What's wrong with that? Look, you're Rambo, and you write a piece of music. I listen to it, and that's what it says. Rambo, and all by itself. Now, what more than that do you want? Besides, what's my opinion, man, a court of law? Well, I don't want an oboe playing that melody. What do you think of that, man? I think you're tied. You've been up all night. I'm not going to give that melody to an oboe. Well, give it to a tuba, baby. So Look, man, get off my back, Ram. Look, I need sleep, man. I give up my nights. No sleep, no dames, no nothing. I sit here morning after morning arranging your music, eh? What do you want, a medal? I ought to walk. I ought to just walk. Why don't you? Why don't you just walk? All right. Ram? Will you be here for dinner? I don't know. I bought a chicken. He said I don't know. When you clear the decks, you really clear them, don't you? Eddie. What's bugging you, Ram? I don't know. I like the music, man. I like it fine. Very good. Yeah, Eddie thought so, too. I'm sorry. Forget it. What are you going to do? Are you going to stew the chicken? Get some sleep. I'll sleep later. You're really going to stew that chicken, huh? Yes. And it takes a long time. So do it later. I have other things to do. So do them later. Why? Do you need a reason? You need the reason. But I? Why do you need me today? Because you feel you're wonderful? Or because you feel you're worth nothing? Well, what do you care? I care. Well, you get what you want. You think that's all I want? I think you want what I want. Don't be so sure. No.
here. Leave it here. Excuse what? me. Do you speak English? Yeah, you need some help. Oh, do I need some help? My girlfriend is off chasing another porter because he took her bags and left. Yeah, well, they'll do that. You, uh, you want to wait for her here, is that it? Yes, please. Can you explain to him that I want to leave my... Mademoiselle Hortan ici. Laissez les bagages et revenez tout à l'heure. Uh, tout à l'heure. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I think I can manage by myself. Uh, Monsieur, have Is your girlfriend as pretty as you are? Yes. She's a white girl. It might be hard to find. All these white girls look alike. Howdy! Howdy, I got a taxi! Come on, give the man your bags, quick! What took you so long? Thanks. The black one? Yes, please. Chick. Everything is peaches. Say, uh, wild well, man's still down there. Yes, he's back there holding court. I'll be down to see you at your joint. Oh, you're Ram Bowen. Yes, ma'am. I've heard you on record. Were you on the boat? No, I live here in Paris. Oh, I see. My friend and I were on the boat. That's why I asked. We were here on our vacation. We decided we'd come at this time of year because it's cheaper, you know. Lillian, we'd better get started for the hotel. All right. If you want to hear me play some night, just tell the cab driver Marie's cave, okay? still in the state. I guess you're right. Besides, Lillian, I know these jazz musicians. If we go tonight, he's gonna think we're eager. I suppose so. You know something? What? I am eager. Where's a gypsy? Where is he? The poacher does not want to wait until tomorrow when I get paid. Where, in the alley? Yes.
You have two debts, right? Four. Four? Okay. Four you eat ghost more. Less for gypsy, friend. You never had a friend. Started down there yet? Yeah, you know, we had a few sets. Okay. So you think it's all right for two girls to go out to a nightclub alone? Of course, alone? this is Paris. Anything is all right. Besides, I want to see Ram Bowen. You've come to the right place. You're in the band? Come on, I'll take you down. Thank you. You guys know the ramp? Not really. Well, he tried to pick her up in the train station. She knows him, I. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want a good table for the ladies. I gotta go to work. I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. That sure is a cute little devil you tried to pick up in the station today, Big Daddy. I'll try. Looks like I have. Come on, man, let's play. in the go.
How about something to eat? Could we go to Le Hal? Yeah, we can and we will. Let's walk a little bit. Say, are you, uh, are you gonna take off without saying goodbye? I didn't even get a hello from you. Lillian Corning? Ramble. Hello. How are you? What's your name, honey? I thought you'd... Connie Lamson. You thought what? Thought you knew. No, you thought you were gonna run off with her, right? Why don't we, uh, cut out, huh? I thought we'd all go and have some breakfast together. Well, I think we ought to have a little breakfast alone. I think we'd better be getting back to the hotel, Lillian. Ooh. What, are you kidding? I mean, you went to all the trouble to find out where I was playing, and then you stuck it out till closing time. Wait a minute. That wasn't her. That was me. She didn't even want to come, and I insisted, and then she wanted to go home. So please don't talk like that. Why are you apologizing for his rudeness? Ram. Yeah, I better get lost. Oh, no, come on, go with us, please. Oh, what's the matter, kid? Somebody forget it was your birthday or something? What do you want me to do, apologize? All right, I apologize, I apologize. No, I... I'm sorry. I really am. Okay. Okay. Now, why don't you go on with your friends? Because I'm not in a very good mood tonight. Good night, sir. Good night. I just wanted to tell you how much your music meant to me. Thank you very much. I'm not sure you hear that all the time. No, actually, you never hear that enough. You better go on with your friends. I can't. They went already. Kid, you don't want me for what you want. Now, in the States, when you got nothing to do, maybe. But in Paris, I'd just be a waste of a good vacation. I, there are companies that take care of tourists. You know, I'm not the traveler's aide. Well, I'm not looking for any help, so you don't have to worry about me. I'll tell you the truth, honey. I worry about me, not you. Honestly, you're in no danger from me. That phrase does not exist coming from a female, especially a female on a two-week vacation. It's like a, a job I had when I was a kid. In camp, boy, the dame just came up like sharks. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, wait a minute. the way you walk. And Paris is a city to walk in. It's a beautiful city. Yeah, it takes more than two weeks to see it, though. Can't you stretch your time a little? No, I have to go back to school. You go to school? Mm-mm. I'll start teaching next term. Huh. What's that? Notre Dame. You didn't even look. Well, I didn't think they'd moved it. <laughs> I guess you pointed it out to lots of girls from here. One or two. Maybe three. Well, it's lovely. So are you. And I've never said that to any of them before. Well, not more than one of them. Not more than one on this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I had a teacher like you when I went to school, boy, yeah, I would have learned some. <laughs> I think you've learned enough. 
behind the school. You said something about buying me some onion soup. It won't run away. No, but I might. You might. Run from here. The garden spot of the Western world. You might run. Look at it. Hmm? And not just what you see, but the way the place makes you feel. I'll never forget the first day I walked down Avenue Champs-Élysées. Just like that, I knew I was here to stay. How long have you been away from home? Five years. You've never wanted to go back? No. You stick around Paris for a while and stretch a bit. Sit down for lunch somewhere without getting clubbed for it, and you'll wake up one day, look across the ocean, and you'll say, who needs it? Who needs it? Well, we certainly don't need to sit down for lunch and get clubbed for it. <laughs> Amen. But we do need our roots, don't we? And where our roots are, our home is, wouldn't you say? I would say that you one of them socially conscious chicks, right? Home to me is home. And my family is my family. And whatever problems they've got, I've got them too. Of all the beautiful girls who come to Paris every year, I get a swinger for the cause. Well, I can't bite you on an empty stomach. Besides, we've just met, so I think I'd better take you and buy you that onion soup. I think you'd better. <laughs> like every painting of Paris I've ever seen. all the time? Like what? I don't know. In my league, the guy usually makes the pitch. I mean, you not only pitch, you pick up the bat and hit for him. You come on like this with all the guys? No. Only with the special one. How many of those have you met? One. Yesterday. thought he was so special. No, I don't know. I watched all those people last night while he was playing. They thought he was pretty special, too. Yep, plays a good horn. Yep, plays a good horn. It's much more than that. It's the way he feels when he plays it. And the way he made me feel. That's why I may have been right, but not just for anybody.
about music? I've got a friend who says he knows everything about music except what he likes, and I'm the opposite. What's Paris Blues? Yeah, you better get dressed. You write music, too? Honey, I live music. The morning, noon, the whole night. Everything else is just icing on the cake, you dig? I dig. And I, uh, I have no time, no serious time for anything else. I laugh it up. You don't have to explain. No, for your own good. I mean, you don't want to take a chance on a guy who won't. You know something? Everybody is always waiting for everybody else to take a chance because they're so afraid. Me, I'm more afraid of not taking the chance than taking it and getting... Well, you can get kicked in the teeth that way. My brother's a dentist. What do you do with yourself? Right back home, I mean. Oh, small town, small job, small life. What do you do, collect dolls? No. Those are for the kids. My kids. I have two children. Just a picture of them? Yes. <laughs> That's crazy, man. You know, the big one looks like you. Thank you. Now, aren't you interested in knowing whether or not I'm married? None of my business. Well, I'm not. I mean, I was, but I'm not now. So you're not? Well, don't look so disappointed. What kind of guy was your husband? He's a nice guy. Very sweet and very kind. What happened? What happens? The kids and I get along fine. Live in a big old house with lots of room. The kids have friends and I have friends. Boyfriends? All kinds. And you dig it, huh? I mean, that small town jazz. Yes. Here's your picture. I'm acquainted with those houses. You know why it's so quiet? Why? Because everybody's dead inside those houses. It's the quiet of the grave. When it's quiet in my house, it simply means the children are asleep. Look, you like the life you live in. Eddie's still out with that friend of yours. I think they liked each other. Well, we got to work this afternoon. So you better go back to the hotel. All right. Suppose your friend's not there when you get back. I'll take a walk. By yourself? You get lost. I have a map. Hey, wait a minute. Why don't you stay here, at least until I get in touch with Eddie? You just do anything I say, don't you? Well, I want to stay. You're a nut. 
<laughs> well, I ain't getting involved with no nut. chicken the way you like it. Couldn't make it. I got snarled up. We can have it cold tonight. Some other night. You're getting snarled up again tonight? Could be. I see. You see what? For you, lunch and dinner with the same woman. That's unusual. How long is she here for? I don't know, a couple of days. Yeah, I don't dig this. So what are you trying to do, tie me up? I'm trying to keep you untied. I know what I need. You need your work, Ram. That's all. And me. Or someone like me. Nothing else works for people like us. We've got company, man, remember? Oh, yeah. been a couple of days. Give it a chance. Come on. somebody fishing. Do they ever catch anything? Yeah, old shoes, tin cans, maybe a cold. Oh, it's all so... I don't know what. Picaresque? Charming, colorful. Yes, all right. Oh, I hope we can eat on the boat. You just had breakfast. I can always eat. You wouldn't know it, but I eat like a horse. I'd know it. It's show. Not in public. Not in private, either. That's all right. I like a girl with a little, uh... A little what? City of love, doll. It's just not brotherly love, that's all. And they're out in the open, too. Yeah. The French are very practical people. They get their fresh air at the same time. Exhausted after working all night. <laughs> Not him. I seen him go like this for a week. Ten days just balling it up. And then <laughs> somebody comes along, scoops him up, and pours him out of his house. Such a crazy life. Yeah, well, that's because you're one of the day people. We are the night people, and it's a whole different world. You don't think they can mix? Well, I don't mind them going to public places together. But I certainly wouldn't want one of them to marry my sister. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, now, let me say, Connie's a day person. You tell me. And I'm a day person. Uh-huh. But you know something? I think you are. No. Well, you're not like him. Well, I'm taller than him. No. You're steadier. Don't you let him fool you. He's as steady as a rock about the things that are important to him. Like music? Like music. Oh. Oh. Oh, indeed. 
Sure, Eddie could get a job with any band he likes. Wild man Moore would pay him a fortune. But he stays with you. He likes Paris. He likes you, too. I like him. But I guess that doesn't surprise you. No, ma'am. Well, it surprised me. I never thought I could be interested in anybody like Eddie. The way he lives and the way I am. That's his way. I know, but to me, that's like turning your back on what you really are. I couldn't live like that. Look, you, uh, like him, play it cool. You dig each other, let it go at that. Oh, Ram, you make it sound like it's some kind of a game. But what do you do if it's not a game? Uh, don't ask me, honey. I only play games. Come on. Merci, Monsieur Noir. Merci, Madame Noir. Merci, Monsieur. So you don't mind being called Mr. Black Man? Of course not. Why should I? That's what I am, a black man. You don't mind because that's a French kid. If that Maybe. were an American. You want to have fun or you want to discuss the race question? I can't separate them. Not with you. It's too important to me. It's... You. Look, here, nobody says Eddie Cook, Negro musician. They say Eddie Cook, musician, period. And that's all I want to be. And that's what you are here. That's what I am here. Musician, period. And I don't have to prove anything else. Like what? Like... Because I'm Negro, I'm different. Because I'm Negro, I'm not different. I'm different, I'm not different, who cares? Look, I don't have to prove either case. Can you understand that? There isn't a place on the face of the earth that isn't held for somebody, some race, some color, some sex. For me, Paris is just fine. Eddie, you're wrong. You're wrong! And I'm not denying what you feel, because it wouldn't be there if there wasn't a very good reason. But things are much better than they were five years ago, and they're going to still be better next year. And not because Negroes come to Paris, but because Negroes stay home. And with millions of white people, they work to make things better for everybody everywhere in America. Look, are we going to stand here all day discussing this jazz? I have some shopping I'd better do. Smoking, drinking, never thinking of tomorrow. Dancing, dining, diamonds shining with some men in the restaurant. system a different thing gypsy i i talked to nicole maybe you can see a doctor or something Doctor, come with me. 
life, that won't kill you as fast as this will. Why you care so much? Why you worry whether I live or die? Because I worry. Ah, you need my guitar. Maybe to play your music. Yeah, maybe. Never have you heard a guitar like mine. You were the best, Michelle. I am the best. No, we're the best. When I heard you play the first time, you had something, but now you're just burning up in the coke. So I'll be the best in the cemetery. Now, you keep on this way. It's my way. I'm lucky. If I die, I'll be buried by friends. since I come here. Is it a bird you wish me to meet? I wouldn't think you like birds, Ram. Many people fear the birds. They think of them as a snake that fly. But I... I have always loved the birds. Their songs, their flying. When I was a little boy, I was sure I could fly. You know that many children have this? Like a, like a memory of flying? Many children get killed trying to fly. You know that? I tried once, from a high hill. Very painful. Now I don't try to fly anymore, except in the music. Oh. Birds are the only free things, and we put them in cages. They look so sad, so starved. People are like birds, you know, Ram. Nico is a wren, Marie is a big, bold, shining starling, and I am the cuckoo bird, eh? <laughs> Now, Busha? Sure, so he can get what he needs. He's one year older than me. One year. Look at him. I can't. Go ahead, look at him. It's you in a year, Gypsy. Ram. One year. Ram. You're going to see a doctor, you hear me? I don't want to keep his mouth shut, but today, Gypsy, today. Okay, Ram, I try. Whatever you say, I try.
Now, oh, go ahead. You've been wanting to. Denatural, honey. That melody's heavy. Hmm? Oh, never mind. <clears throat> what time is it anyway? About 11.15. What, in the morning? Mm-hmm. Oh, now, wait. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> mm -hmm. Lady, this romance is doomed. Why? You get up too early. This is late for me. I'm usually up with the kids. What is that, coffee? What it is. Uh, poisson? Oui. Bad enough. You get up, you go out. And I got the newspapers. Does it mean there are other people up, too? Mm-hmm. Whole city. Music all the way through sometime? Sure, I told you as soon as it's finished. Will it be finished by Friday? Uh, we'll probably cut a record. As soon as it's performed, I'll send you one. Will it be performed here in Paris? Yeah, I guess so. And then back home? Maybe. I'm very impressed. Here, I'll play you a little bit. It's not really orchestrated yet, just um, Eddie and me and a couple of the guys. Even if you hadn't told me, I'd know you wrote it just from listening to you play and from... From what? From the way you are with me. Ram. Come on now, slow down. Just slow down. I little. can't. There's not much time. There's time enough. Friday is so close. We got time for a cup of coffee? that all these mornings I've, I've watched you sleeping and I've cleaned the apartment and I've made coffee and I haven't done that for a man in a long time. What do you want to do, wrap me up and take me home? How are you going to declare me at customs, a uh, souvenir of Paris? Ram, we could have so much. I'd do for you, and I'd, I'd keep people away while you were working, and you could work well. I'm sorry. Worked so well, huh? You know how many dates I broke to work with Eddie since you've been here? I've been with you more than... We had a good thing going, and what do you have to spoil it for? Because I couldn't go without telling you how I felt. Well, you know what you're telling me, don't you? You're telling me to choose. Yes, to choose. One or the other, you or that. You know how long it took me to start that? I mean, just start it? And that's something that I wanted to do all my life. I'm doing it. I, I got my life all arranged, like I told you. I got no time for what you want. I want you. And I think you want me. Well, we got to do exactly what we should have done before this thing got started. Call it off. 
You mean not see each other? Call the game on account of complications. And anyway, you know, you want to see some more of Paris before you go. You can't go home and people ask you, you haven't even seen the Eiffel Tower. Cab? No, I'd rather walk. I don't know what to say. Well, don't say anything. You know me, I've always got something to say. Well, I, you know, you just picked the wrong guy for what you want. Did I? Yeah, I'm not in the market. I wasn't shopping.
I will. Certainly. call was from Rene Bernard. He wants to see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock in his office. You hear that, Ram, my love? You hear that? Well, come on, man. Wake up. This is it. Happy time. <laughs> Marie, tomorrow night we close the club? Yes. Tomorrow night we close the club. Then I'll make a big party for my friend. Music is my big party! Congratulations. Congratulations, Ram. Thanks. genuine lover can take one. I'll give this one. didn't know it was this good. You want to hear something? I love you. I love you, too. Well, then I've got everything. Huh? And I didn't always know I didn't have everything. Now I know what I did have. Oh, me too, Eddie. It's wild, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I felt this would happen to me. I didn't know when, and it's nothing like I thought it would be. It's impossible to imagine. Yes, because it's good. Everything is good. Eddie, hmm? did anything like this ever happen to you? No. Before? And I love this city. But I'll never be able to walk here alone again. Well, I don't want to ever walk here alone again. Mwah. You're beautiful. Yeah? <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. you make me feel beautiful. I don't feel average when I'm with you. I feel very, very special. I better warn you. 
I want lots of children. Oh. Not just two or three. I want lots and lots of children. Okay. Six children, three boys and three girls, and I want them all to look like you. All right. Then we'll go out and get married. Oh. <laughs> hey, there's yeah. a friend of mine I went to school with. Yeah. He's just been ordained a minister in the good old USA. Bully for him. <laughs> Connie, that was pretty sneaky. Up. You marry a man and you stay where he works and lives, right? You marry a man, you make a good home for him and for your children. Eddie, please try it. Just come home and give us one year. If it doesn't work like I say, we can come back here. I promise that. Honey. Oh, Eddie, this is not your home. This is a place you've run to. And I don't want us running away. I want us to go home and have a family, face what we have to face, and change whatever we have to change. I don't want any favors, yes? I don't beg for anything anymore, see? Besides, you're interested in a cause. I'm not interested in a cause. I'm only interested in us. You're not interested in us. You're interested in you. Come on, I'll take you back to the hotel. No. So I got some more of those posters for the kids. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I would like to leave as soon as possible. Tomorrow would be fine. Tomorrow? Yes, can you confirm that for me? Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Eddie? Mm-hmm. It's not gonna work, Lillian. Better get out while well, I'm still in one piece. This is ridiculous, Connie. What did we come to Paris for? To be run out of town by two kooks just because we got our feelings hurt? Now, we're acting like two adolescents. We've still got things to see. I wouldn't know what I was seeing. That doesn't make any difference. We've got two days, and we're going to use them. I've got the list right here. Now, we haven't seen but half of the Louvre. We never did get to the top of the Eiffel Tower. We didn't get to the catacombs. We haven't finished shopping. And how can I get my return reservation? The concierge will fix it. You're not the only one who wants to get out in one piece. Concierge, please. You know, I used to look at you and Eddie and think, my God, how simple it is for them. Lillian, remember all the places we could have gone? Mm-hmm. We should have gone there. Mr. Bowen, so good of you to come. How do you do, sir? Pleased to meet you. Please, have a chair. I have long been an admirer. Thank you very much. But I know you didn't come here just to exchange pleasantries. Uh, no, sir, I didn't. Mr. Bowen, I have read this many times. You have a genuine gift for melody. Well, what does that mean, Mr. Bernard? Simply what I said. You have a good melodic feel. Mr. Bernard, I, uh, I want to develop that theme into a piece to be played in concert now. Uh, well, what, what's the possibility? Mr. Bowen, you are a creative musician. Every time you put a horn to your mouth, you're composing. 
Your improvisations are highly personal. They give you a stamp as a musician. But there is a great deal of difference between that and an important piece of serious music. <clears throat> In other words, uh, you're trying to tell me that I'm just sort of lightweight. I don't know what you are yet, Mr. Bowen, and neither do you. I'm only saying that you haven't yet given yourself a chance to find out. Mr. Bernard, I, uh, I've worked with musicians all my life. I, I know everything I can do. Perhaps you need to do something else now. Paris is a great city for an artist to work and study. Composition, harmony, theory, uh, counterpoint. Perhaps you need to change your life for a couple of years in order to give yourself a chance to do what you wish. Well, in other words, it's, um, it's no good. On the contrary, I like it. But it's, it's not uh, good enough to be played. Oh, I'm certain a uh, record company. But nothing more than that. It is what it is. A jazz piece of a certain charm and uh, melody. Yeah, well, Jingle Bells is a great tune. You can hum that the first time you hear it. Okay. Well, um, thanks for listening. I, I appreciate it very much. Mr. Bowen, what are you asking me? To say you are what you are not? No, you just told me what I am. You have a talent. You wish to be a serious composer? Perhaps you will be. And perhaps I won't. Perhaps you won't. Mm-hmm. Thank you really very much, sir. Trey? Yes, what is it? Yes, what is it? When are you leaving? Tomorrow. You still want me to go with you? What happened? Well, what difference does it make? I mean, if you want me to go with you, I'm going. If you don't want me. I want. I'm no martyr. I want you. Hi, Eddie. Hi. Eddie!
Eddie, I'm going home tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow morning. But you've got three more days. Well, I've changed my plans. Without telling me? Eddie, I didn't dare tell you. I didn't dare. Connie, I want you to stay here. See, I want you to stay here with me. Please don't ask me to do that. I can't let you go. Then come with me. Hey, I, you know, every time I could belt you for reminding me of all the things I've tried five years to forget. I go home with you and it'll be hard. It'll be so hard. You know, I'm a different man. See, I don't push easy anymore. But I love you. I love you. And if you'll be there, I'll try. I'll try. I'll be there. swinging right to the station. So you're happy? Well, yeah. Why, were you worried for me? Not this time. Not anymore. You mean nothing anymore? Something. Not important. Was it ever? Perhaps. But it leaves no marks. Like snow. <laughs> Sounds sort of blue. Whole colors. Like it should be. You leave tomorrow? Yep. It was good, Ram. Yeah, it was good. Come on, you cats! Let's swing a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Feet, 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 feet. Mustachio. Guy, Mustachio, he's fine, huh? Yeah. Ugly, would you grab your saxophone, huh? Come on, come on, bring your plate. Come on, bring your plate. Uh, find yourself a seat and prepare to get sent. Come on, come on, come on. Yep. Hey, Gypsy! Oh, loosen up, will you, fellas? Michelle, come on! Just a little one, baby. A little one makes no difference. Good for the body. So 
won't take it, Michelle. Why? I'm taking a little fix. What's so bad? Come on, give it to me. Look, baby. It's over now. For you. For me. It's over. Hey, Ram. Let's both fly for a little while. Get out of here. Get out of here, Ram. You're leaving, Ram. Why don't you leave? Michelle. He'll do all right. Ram, I came to tell you that I'm leaving, too. What, Connie? Yes. Uh, figures. She's a nice kid. You coming with us tomorrow? I can't. I've got too many things to settle here first, but I'll be along in a couple of weeks. Well, I'm not waiting. What I can't get into a suitcase, the Salvation Army's welcome to. It sure won't be easy watching you all go tomorrow on that sad old train. Yeah. Only a few minutes. I'd better wait. He might have forgotten the platform or something. But you go ahead.
Sam, I thought you weren't coming. <laughs> You're not going with me. Will you come over later? Oh, I'm staying here. I, I, uh, I just came to say goodbye. Ram. I can't. Lillian, I gotta follow through with the music. I gotta find out how far I can go. And I guess that means alone. Vacation certainly goes awfully fast, doesn't it, when you're having a good time? I want to do something, though. I'd like to give you a going away present. You may not like it, but I don't care. It's just this. You're never going to forget me. You're gonna walk down the street of wherever you happen to be. You're gonna see me, even when you know I'm not there. Nobody in this whole world is ever gonna be as right for you as I was. For 12 days in Paris in the autumn. Because that's been your gift to me.